Hello there, and uh, welcome to a little lesson in kettlebell sport and especially the swing. And this is for those that have never heard or know about kettlebell sport or the type of swing we use uh, in sport, where the power comes from uh, in the swing, and what is the purpose of doing a swing. Uh, or, or doing the exercise because the key in training or sport or exercise is why do you do the exercise and in sports like in uh, for instance like in, in swimming they practice certain drills like because it enhances their ability to swim or their strokes or whatever and the taming running and this is also the principle of kettlebell sport. For instance, uh, the exercises in kettlebell sports, it's the kettlebell snatch, and then you have like the half snatch, but the, the movement upwards is the same. And then you have clean and jerk. And there you have like the, the clean part. Uh, which is much the same as the snatch part. And the basis of those are the swing. So the better you are at swinging a kettlebell, the better you are at doing the snatch or the clean in the clean and jerk part. So a sports type snatch looks like this where you make the bell like fly up fluid and not like a pull so you try to make the bell move as easy as possible as light as possible looking like this and the clean and jerk part of, of the kettlebell sport the clean looks like this so you try to like flow with the bell to make it uh, come up in the rest position almost by itself it's not like a pull where you try to use force you just try to let the bell do the work for you in the side it looks like So, and how do we practice this? Then we have to learn the swing. So, the kettlebell swing for sports is not like this, which is probably what, what many see, where you drive with your hip and you stay almost upright like so and you they talk about connecting the hip and doing this well in kettlebell sports it's all about using less muscles because you want to last a long time doing the exercise as in sports it's, it's like 10 minutes 30 minutes even 60 minutes of continuous snatching without putting the bell down so if you use too much force you will not last the time so the principle is to use as less force as possible but still be able to move the weight so how do we do that and then the principle is a pendulum not a hinge or not like using the hips to to thrust or to like move anything we use a pendulum and every person has like a body and we have an arm okay, everybody but some of us have <laughs> and then we have like the ability to to move weight 
like a, a sling or like a, a children's uh, swing, if you will. So we move our body weight away from the bell weight and that creates lift. Like this old time uh, ballistic uh, rock throwers, like they had a counterweight and it made the, the stones fly and they could tear down walls. And that is the same principle, like we use this movement here and a little bit since we are lifting from one hand from side to side. And of course we use a little bit of legs to, because if the legs are straight we can't move so we like to use a little bit of leg work to make this movement happen. So it's the power do not come from the hip. We don't like force anything like that. It's all about letting the bell have a like a a a, a path, and and you enhance that path so the bell comes up, and you let it go down, and and you just like follow the bell, just guiding it, just giving it a little bit of speed each time, and you do it by moving your body weight. And that's why we practice the swing. The swing in itself, it's uh, in kettlebell sports, it's all about trying to get a better rhythm, to get a better like pull, better catch, all these things, because it's the key to do the other work, the other exercises. So, for instance, since the snatch is up here and you have the catch. I can practice like doing the same movement with the swing and then it's all about moving my body weight away from the bell so it's not like it's all about getting some momentum and just leaning and using the body weight to create the power. And believe you me, there is much more power in this way of doing it than using the hip. You might think that, oh, it's like you have big legs, uh, big, big power, you can like really shoot up. But if you weigh a hundred kilos, and the bell is 24 and if you lean back you lean back with a hundred kilos as a counterweight that moves a lot of weight and that is the key so it's much more powerful than the the hip way of uh, moving the bell and you save a tremendous a lot of energy doing this swing. Uh, so, key is to like learn how to shift your body weight from side to side or diagonal back to, to front. And many people just start like here, keeping the arm almost dead and you kind of get a little feel for the movement and then you get your shoulder into the movement because as the bell comes up here you don't want the bell to go further away because the bell is supposed to go up that is what you practice so when you come like here you get a little lift and as the bell lifts you don't want your arm to be out here because the bell wants to go up and if you have your shoulders out here like stretched out the bell has to go further away so you make your body go backwards and even your shoulder go backwards so that the 
path of the bell moves naturally with you and you with the bell and you come like this and you don't need to have the bell like far away and it goes up and some say but what about the shoulder you need to have it tight and packed and no because once you are here the bell doesn't weigh anything you have lifted it there is no weight on the bell but when it comes down okay as it's here when the bell starts to lower itself it's not heavy here it's not heavy here not here it's only <laughs> actually it's not heavy down here also because it's it's still moving so what i do i connect with the bell and instead of getting all the like with a where you catch the weight like here I catch the weight already here and then I just like slide my shoulder back again slowing it just a little and moving my shoulder to slow it just a little and then I guide the bell so it's never heavy therefore it's not nothing like this it's nothing really pulling it's just a smooth ride with the bell smooth exercise uh, and then you can like i slow it down just a little bit and the more i lean back or try to like move away from the bell the higher the bell goes and then the swing connects with the snatch because it's the like i move my body the same way the whole time so it's a swing, it turns, and you can even do clean the same movement. I'm just moving away, moving away. The same movement the whole time. And as you go up in uh, bell weight, of course the swing gets a little bit lower because it's heavier but you try to like really move in the same even if it's just a little if it's just like you try to mimic this movement and here is the lift and it's so soft the landing that it's never any pulling it's just like oh. you just guide the bell and you guide it into place uh, and this is maybe hard for people to to understand if you don't uh, know about kettlebell sport and, and know about the mechanics into it and why we do it because there is a system uh, so that the, since the, the, the sport snatch is so fluid, you need to practice so much the timing, so much the catch and the grip to release, relax and then guide the bell. So with a heavier bell, just like this, and it's snatch. instead of what most people like uh, see uh, in, in fitness videos the snatch is more like a and you can even when you think about it when you start to think about it why if, if, if the point is to like move 
And this is 32 kilos. The point is to move 32 kilos. If you can move it in one hand 100 times, like flowing with the bell, it's a more powerful movement or more power generating movement than the other way around where you like spend a lot of energy and, and you only make maybe 20 or 30 uh, so that is why we do it like this so instead of swinging or it's just uh, the bell is the same and you just flow with the bell and it becomes more like a like a dance where you move, you move with the bell. And as you go heavier, of course, it looks a little bit different because it's harder to like move away <laughs> from the counter bell. But even at low swings, it's the same. So. And you see here, the power do not come from the hips. Power comes combined with, with the legs, we are standing up of course, with, that we pull away. It's like more like you lean back, and you go like this, and the lean. And of course, a little bit of pull all these things. So and we try to like keep our body weight always on the opposite side of the weight. We can stand almost upright during the like the, the swing. And when we go down, we go down like this, only to like straighten back up again. We don't want to stay here with tension. We want to relax. So we can move the bell more times. And then I made a mistake of doing a video with some like way too heavy. Uh, I used my 56 kilo and everything, and we got way too heavy. And it doesn't look good. Of course, it doesn't. It doesn't look right. It looks like dry something or. <laughs> whatever like you just like but the movement is the same even if you don't get any lift so here we have like 48 and 40 so it's uh, 88 kilo and you go up and then you hold it and it's not connected and then you start to rock And now I move the weight and swing just a little bit. And again, you may ask why it's a little movement, but it's there. It's like you work to move away and you get stronger on that movement. Because that movement is the way to get better at sport snatch for instance that movement is better at doing uh, long cycle like a clean and jerk because you manage to like you can clean and because you are so good at 
moving your body weight. You can get the bell from here to here so easy. Instead of you take longer time like this. And then you can just relax, relax with the sports style. Same snatch, but you have to So I'm just following the bell, relaxing, 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 relaxing. And it's never heavy. Same with half snatch. You go up and you just. And I keep my body weight away from the bell. No hip thrust or no packed shoulders, no tightness, nothing like here to shoot. It's all about flowing, moving with the bell as the bell wants because of the, the, the path it wants to go. So that is the sport way of doing it. Uh, you can show it also with like this stick so the bell wants to go like this and it's for us to move the other way like with my hand when I move the opposite direction oh, when I move the opposite direction it swings higher so if I were to start, I have to use force. Stop, I have to. So instead of this, we let the bell do the work. That is the same principle of the sport. Swing, snatch. I hope that made sense. A lot of rambling, a lot of, a lot of stuff. So, uh, yeah. So you just guide the bell. do the same with uh, like two arms here guiding and then it looks like you pull back instead of you just you lean back you are the counterweight as the bell moves forward you move backwards. So, hope it makes sense. Cheers. <laughs>